on a regular basis during the day and on Sundays from 1 to 3. And you're, um, they do have art exhibits up there as well, and, and anyone is welcome when it's open to just go in and, and take a look at what the, the inside of the building looks like. How long has the Welcome Center been here? Uh, we've been in it a little over three years, mm -hmm. just um, just a little bit over three years, and uh, it's a very popular stop as well. Um, what we focus on in the, the Welcome Center is our green uh, building um, that is the only building in Lake County Forest Preserve that has been built with green standards to it. So what does that mean? Um, there are certain criteria that uh, there's an organization that has um, LEED standards and they are leadership in the environmental and uh, um, let's see, leadership in energy and environmental design. So it's basically um, some criteria that follows green practices and um, we have done that. I just did a, a tour this morning for um, about 50 school kids and uh, they're our YCC program group, and they uh, they learned a little bit about the different green aspects of our of our building. What can you can you give us a, a quick update on green? Because this, I think, is the big thing that people are talking about. It, it is. Um, this building is about the same square foot as anybody's home would be. So it's something that's very doable with um, either remodeling or building a new home. Um, it has recycled tiles, it has um, a cistern for collection of rainwater, and um, it has geothermal heating, which relies a lot on the, the earth to, yes. to heat and air condition our, our building. Um, the roof is metal, which is, um, you know, expands the lifespan of an average roof of a, by twice as much time. So. Um, you know, a lot of times the, the outlaying of the initial costs are a little bit more, but the long term is definitely beneficial. Now is the glass, the special glass that... It does have, be... it does have UV protection glass. Um, all of the rooms have windows in them that allow natural light to come in, but the building is oriented on the property so it gets the uh, correct sunlight distribution throughout the year. So, so it's uh, not too hot in the summer. Exactly. The sun doesn't kill you in the summer. Exactly. It warms, you in the it warms us in the winter. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an amazing I had not realized that this building was done to lead standards. Mm -hmm. We actually have applied for the platinum level, which is the highest level. So we're waiting to hear on that. Now let me ask you a question. If people need to consult or are looking to do things leads, do you can you guys can you guys give them information? Oh, definitely. We and that's what a lot of people will come in and and they've heard about our building and they come in to see what the roof looks like or what the the um, wall coverings, anything. Um, we're very happy to share our information. I find it really exciting. It is. I've been doing some reading on leads. And you know, I live in a 50-year-old house with no insulation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about as far from leads as more to lead to leads. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've always wanted to redo the house. Right. But if I do, it has to be, what, renewable energy resources? Right. A lot of times um, you have to get it within a certain distance from your area. So say, for instance, 100 miles um, radius from the area. A lot of the materials came from right in local. in our local area. Right. It's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. And I'm going to stop you right here because I think it's time to go to Save a Pet, show people what the dogs and cats that are there look like that are looking for homes. And I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit more in another show about rain gardens and green living. All right. So, I think this building is a great segue. <laughs> Jill, thank you for this one. 